Hello and welcome back to the COP TV for another edition of On The Radar. I hope we're all well. Uh, as you can see by the title, we have our first signing of the summer. It is Kostas Timikas from Olympiakos. The 24-year-old has uh, apparently signed a five-year deal at Anfield, keeping, uh, keeping him with us until June 2025. Uh, I think his uh, medical is due to all be completed by Tuesday. So it looks like we've got our man and it looks like we've got our first signing of the summer. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this signing. I mean, have you all seen the videos that have been put on Twitter? I just have watched them now. Let me know in the comments what you think of what you've seen so far. Uh, Matteo seems, seems like a decent signing, to be fair. One thing that we should remember uh, is that we're hardly going to go after and buy a rubbish player at this stage, are we? I mean, those days are long gone. When we wanted a left back and we used to be shopping around for Paul Koncheski type players, I mean, those days are fully gone. Right? I mean, we must have had our scouts looking at this guy for some time. I think back in August, I spoke about uh, Tim McCass on the LFC Day Trippers podcast. There were some murmurs of him then, but I have to be honest, at the time, I didn't know too much about him. Uh, but I've done a bit of research today and I'm not going to just say it because, you know, that's what everyone says when they watch these YouTube clips. He looks good. He looks very good. Even Grizz Khan, the, the big kind of in the know Liverpool fan, has already come out and said, you know, how, how excited he is. He said he looks class. Huddy boy, love your new show, mate. Please keep it up. Absolutely, mate. I would never let you guys down. I'll do this show every single day on the radar. Um, so, yeah, I mean, a left back uh, kind of cover option was, was, you know, what we were after. And it's what we've got. I think the failed attempt of buying Jamal Lewis was probably the the green light on this deal. If we can't get Lewis, we go in for Tim McCass, and that's exactly what we've done. Louis says, very good backup. I watched him against Wolves. Yeah, I mean, this guy's played against Wolves very recently. He's also played against Arsenal, I think, in the Europa League last year. Hitman, who's a regular uh, fan on this channel, uh, has actually texted me as the kind of news was announced today, saying that, he is very happy with this uh, player because he's he has had his eye, and we're going to hopefully get Hitman in on this stream if he if he gets in touch uh, asap. But uh, Kieran B says, to be honest, I just checked that bloke out on YouTube. Five six assists this season. He can cross. Looks tidy. Good dribbler. What I would also say, Kieran, is that he actually looks like a really good defender as well. Uh, there was a few clips where he's kind of you know. Uh, slid in uh, and got the ball from maybe a position where he shouldn't have been having any right to get the ball. So it looks like he's very athletic going up and down the pitch, which is, of course, the the kind of role that we uh, ask you to be when you sign up to be a left-back now or a right-back for Liverpool. You have to be athletic going up and down those wings. Kieran says he is a hybrid of Robbo and Tierney. I mean, that's very early to, to be making hybrid charts, but I love it. Phil Bander. I feel sorry for Lewis, but he's a top left back, experienced and looks very good and will surely challenge Robertson. Yeah, that's an interesting way to look at it, actually, Phil. How do you guys now feel about losing out on Jamal Lewis? I mean, we're all interested by the prospect of him being our backup. He obviously wanted to come to Liverpool. It just looks like we were probably 10 million out in terms of the, the correct asking figure. So we've just swiftly moved on to uh, Tim Cass and we've got him. But you do have to feel sorry for Lewis, I think. A 19-year-old there obviously wants to, to come to Liverpool and maybe he will one day, but looks like his dream's over for now anyway. Uh, Matteo says, Norwich tried to rob Liverpool. It's good they moved on from Jamal Lewis. He was a must-buy. Yeah, I mean, Norwich did try and hold us ransom a little bit for the price. Uh, we didn't move uh, any quicker, though, really. We, we got on with it and, and made sure that we could actually just, you know, make sure that the left-back cover was sorted without even dragging on for another couple of weeks. So, yeah, top business from Liverpool. I think we can all agree that, that uh, much like the Fabinho deal when we signed him after we lost in, uh, in Kiev, it kind of just came out of the blue and it's just been done. And we can move on and we can think, cool, we've got our first fight signing of the summer. I always like that. Instead of all this rumour mill, uh, you know, we just slap a player's contract on the table and say, bosh, there's your first signing. Love that. Kieran B says, yes, Alex, he has got legs. It certainly looks like that. I mean, I had some stats up on the lad earlier just there. I mean, he's a Greek player, obviously plays for Olympiakos. Um, he's just five foot ten, so... 
I mean, it's probably a good size actually for, you know, a left back. He's been number 21 at Olympiacos since 2015. Uh, so you can definitely tell that, um, you know, he, he's got some pedigree. He's played four games in the Europa League, uh, 12 Champions League games, and that's always a help. That must have been, I think, uh, a reason why we've actually got him in because he's used to now playing at this level. I mean, 12 games in the Champions League for Olympiacos isn't too bad at all. Uh, it's a lot of experience that he's coming with. Only 24, a good age for Liverpool. Uh, we like those kind of age of players. But no, I'm really happy. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm really happy that we've actually sorted this signing out at this stage of the transfer window. You know how it goes. You know, you get linked with someone all summer and then it might happen on the last minute and then it doesn't happen. I like our business in getting things early getting things done nice and early. Louis, also think we need uh, to complete the signing of Thiago and get a centre-back completely agreed. I mean, guys, here's a question for you. If we signed Thiago and Timikas, would you be happy? I personally would be over the moon. I think at the start of lockdown, I said we needed a left-back cover and a creative midfielder. If we can get Thiago, which I do know is a big shout, guys. I do know it's a big shout. But I want us to show some ambition and just slap the money down on the table and buy him. And if we get Timakas and Thiago, I'll be over the moon because they're the two positions that we needed to fill the most. Let me know in the comments if you would be happy with Thiago and Timakas as your two signings this summer. Uh, Kieran B says, if we got Thiago, I would blow the load. Me too, bro. I was watching videos of Thiago last night against uh, Chelsea in the Champions League. The boy just oozes class. Short distance, long distance, his touches, everything's just beautiful. We need Thiago. Talks to Fred. Big up yourself. Cool. Uh, Darren Whelan, it again proves how ruthless FSG are. They valued Lewis and would not be pushed to pay double the money, sticking to their beliefs and strategy. Absolutely, Darren. This really was a ruthless move by Liverpool. Uh, Kieran agrees with you there, Darren. Uh, and that's what I like about FSG. There's no pussyfooting around oh, let's, let's have a bidding war with this player. We've bid for you. You don't want to sell us to him. We're not going to pay your price. See you later. Move on. Bosh, we just go out and buy a, a top draw centre, a left back, sorry. Huddy boy, uh, sorry, Cameron, quality for the price. Cannot go wrong. Thiago is a must. Can't see anyone else wearing the number six. I mean, we don't have a number six right now, do we? I think the last number six I can remember for us, unless I'm mistaken, if one of you can correct me, was Fabio Aurelio when he came back the second time? I'm trying to think. Oh, no, Lovren, obviously. Duh. Lovren was number six, wasn't he? That man, Lovren. Uh, Sniper Duel says, Thiago is probably the only alternative for Ronaldo if he don't sign. Hardy Boy, I like this deal more than the Lewis, especially because they weren't trying to rob us. CB or Sa Ansar or Adama Traore, I'll be happy without Thiago because I feel we need backup elsewhere. Very, very interesting views there from Hardy Boy. Let me know in the comments if you agree with this. Uh, I definitely agree with you with the fact that you said that Norwich tried to try to rob us. We were never going to pay 20 million for you know a 19 year old who realistically has played 25 Premier League games. I just don't see it happening. Um, I mean, Saar would be great, Adama Traore as well. But I think if I had to choose one name to round off two signings of the summer, it would be Thiago. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, let's see some more comments. Kieran B, it's fantastic to have got legit cover for a reasonable price. Well played, Michael Edwards. I mean, guys, we all have to take our hats off to Michael Edwards. His work alone in the last three years has been absolutely sensational in terms of bringing players in under the radar as well. I know this show is called On the Radar, but he kind of just gets them in under the radar with no fuss. And that's what we like. And as well, Kieran mentions it there. It's a very reasonable price to pay 13 million for, or I think it's 11.25 million actually for Costas Timakas, who uh, has got pedigree uh, and is only 24. I think it's a great price, especially for cover. Uh, and who knows? Imagine if we had bid that for Lewis and they had accepted. Would we still have been happy with that? Interested to hear your thoughts. Liverpool have 27 million followers on Instagram. Everyone donates one pound and we all sign. Love that idea. However, I love your community spirit idea. Let's all, let's all chip in and get it. But there's no way that Liverpool have not got 27 million pounds or 35, whatever it is to sign Thiago. I don't believe it. I'm sorry. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I personally am not one to buy this 
uh, you know, we can't afford him or we need to sell players to fund the deal. I mean, we've already sold Lovren and, and Lalana, who between them are probably on maybe 250 a week. Uh, so that's a huge bit, uh, tr uh, you know, chunk taken out of the wage bill there that we can use towards a player like Thiago. And I mean, I don't think it's going to be the last of players seeing the exit door at Anfield. I think we could probably make 15, 20 million if we did sell Harry Wilson. The same for Groyic. And although we can raise quite a lot of funds with our sales this summer, I don't believe that we have to sell before we can buy. I do believe that we have the money there ready for Thiago. Let me know what you think. Kieran B., Big commenter tonight. Massive thanks, Kieran B, for watching. Thiago is an unreal baller, top, top quality. I fear PSG will give him wages he can't refuse or we can't compete with unless he really, really wants to play for us. Yeah, it's a great point. PSG could easily swoop in with a 500 grand a week deal for Thiago and he just goes there. But deep down, I really do think that he wants this move. I mean, realistically, guys, what we have to remember as well, for how many years were we a team where no one wanted to join and we had to really persuade them to come? We look at Gerard trying to get Willian. He texts Willian saying he's got to come to Anfield. Didn't come. Now, because we are champions of everywhere and everything, uh, you know, we should have this almost arrogance when we enter the transfer market to say, why would you want to leave us? Why would you want to leave us? If you're playing well, we want you. Why would you want to leave us? We're the best team in the world right now, factually. So why leave us? And I think we've turned the tilt and we've shifted the momentum from going from a team who players could happily walk away from to a team that players would die to come into and also die to stay at. And that's what we have to remember. I do think Thiago wants to come and I pray and I hope, touch wood, that that deal comes up. FSG, Thiago, now nah, let's get this random Olympian cosplayer. Listen, have faith in FSG. They've never done a, anything wrong, in my opinion, so far in their time at Anfield. So I'm not standing for any FSG slander on this channel because without FSG, we wouldn't be where we are today. So we should remember that. I know it's all a joke, but Thiago and FSG know what they're doing. And if, if the deal is going to happen, it will happen. If not, we move on. It's not the end of the world. Phil Banda, Klopp wanted Werner. The board can't let him down this time with Thiago. That I do agree with. I think it was clear to see that Klopp did really want Werner. Uh, the board weren't prepared to go with it and uh, we lost out. Let's hope that one doesn't bite us in the arse. And let's hope that this time the board do fully understand that Klopp is asking and is praying for Thiago to join. Um, so we can get it over the line. PSG in the Farmers League. The Prem is the place to be at. You know that, my brother. Cameron, FSG and co. are just being cautious with the pandemic. Still in play. Agreed. I still believe we will sign players who will improve the squad. Agreed. That's the attitude, Cameron, that I want everyone to have. Believe in FSG. They've got the plan. A pandemic has happened, which has thrown huge uncertainty around financials. So we've got to remember that as well. Mazin, big up yourself. Leicester City fan in the house. Um, so, yeah, guys, finally... Are we happy 100% with the signing of Kostas Timikas from Olympiakos? An interesting fact that you might actually want to use one day. If someone ever asks you who's the most successful club in Europe, technically speaking, the most successful club in Europe in terms of league titles won is Olympiakos. And I know they're not in the top five league, they're in the Greek league, but they've won 46 league titles. Interesting fact. Cameron says, uh, sorry, promo. I'm happy with this signing. He's solid defensively. He can attack and cross and has pace. Yeah, I mean, like I was saying earlier, we've all watched this video that's been floating around on Twitter now of Kostas uh, and his kind of highlights so far for Olympiakos. He looks like a player that can definitely move. I mean, boy, is he quick. Boy, can he defend and attack. And he's got a, a, you know, a great cross on him too as we've seen from those videos. And realistically, with the scouts that we know we have at Liverpool, the high-level scouts, he's going to be good. He's not going to be shit, is he? Let's be honest. Like He's going to be very good if Liverpool are going in for him. Um, Sniper Jewel says, uh, Takim uh, Simikas has winning... Sorry, it's going to take a, a couple of tries to get used to his name. Simikas has winning experience from Greece and experience from the Euro Cups. He should be on another skill level and experience than Jamal Lewis. Very interesting point. Jamal Lewis probably only has 25 games experience in total in the Premier League. And Kostas, as I've said already, has already played 12 games in the Champions League. He's played in the Europa League against Arsenal. 
So it looks like he's got more experience than Lewis and maybe is more advanced than Lewis at this stage in his career. So I'm, like you, Sniper Jaws, happy with the signing. What do you think of Ben White? Uh, what do I think of Ben White? I think he's a very, very talented uh, centre-back. He's obviously a Brighton player. He was on loan at Leeds. Leeds are desperate to get him. And I personally don't think he'll end up at Liverpool. I can see him, though, being bought by one of the top six to top eight clubs. I wouldn't be surprised if someone like Everton or Wolves bought him. So that's what I think of Ben White. Great prospect, but I just don't think we'll buy him. Hoddy boy, a few more comments I'll read out. Uh, should we lose Shakiri and Wilson, along with the players we've already lost, I expect more than a few players in, hopefully. Thanks for the show, lad. Finally, Liverpool channel, I enjoy. Big up to yourself, Hardy boy. If you haven't subscribed, please do already. This is actually probably the most we've ever had live viewer-wise on the COP TV, so it's great stuff. Uh, the Anfield talk, I'm sick of FSG being tight, although we think we need to be careful or we might go into admin again. I mean, there's no chance we're going into admin again. Everything's going up in terms of stock, shares, all that good stuff. Don't be worried, mate, about them being tight. They have a plan. And if not, if they don't have a plan and it all comes to shit, then you can have a go at me. But I'm telling you to stick with the plan, stick with FSG, because they they know stuff, mate. They know stuff. Um, would you take Joshua King as a backup striker? No. I'd rather have Ru uh, Rian Brewster and Divock Origi, personally, if I had to choose. I'd take those two over, over Josh King. Uh, have we officially signed him? No, Aitai, it's going to be Monday or Tuesday when he completes the medical, but all personal terms have been agreed. It's just the medical that he needs to pass. But what we should also remember as well is Liverpool aren't a gossipy club. And when news like this comes out, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's it's the truth and it's going to happen. So, listen, we have to just believe in the in the vision, believe in the FSG transfer policy as well that we know there is. And I do believe that this kid is going to be a real success for Liverpool. Sorry about that, guys. We're going to have to wrap, up, wrap this up soon because I'm absolutely sweltering in here, as you can see by the sweat. Um, quick few more comments. Darren Whelan, for a lot of fans, it can be frustrating that we are not going to going huge financially in this market, but there is a bigger picture. Spot on. Nail on the head, Darren. There is the bigger picture. Let's not get too upset about not spending 70, 80 million on, on rejects like Man United. Promo, Pep Linders coached him at Willem a couple of years ago so knows about him I believe that's a great shout thanks for that insightful information promo if Pep Linders gives him the cosign you know he's a good player I don't believe it till I see the player lifting the shirt and the trophies uh, Edward Thomas everyone chill for happy who won Champions League is still going on wait until things are settled with that then we see that's a great point Edward great point let's not forget guys Thiago played last night in the Champions League for Bayern Munich they're still two months of transfers to come. Your shot's in October. It wouldn't surprise me if this one with Thiago drags on until late September once the season has already started. Uh, it's a great point from Edward, though. Love that. Stephen O'Connor says he's checked his Scout Nation uh, VVD before uh, he has 9 out of 10 on work ethics and crossing. It's like a top player. I'm happy with this. Just feel a bit bad for Jamal Edwards because it's a once in a lifetime. Jamal Edwards, Jamal Lewis, sorry, because it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Absolutely spot on. I do think we all feel a little bit of sympathy for Lewis, but Liverpool don't look at sympathy. They look at the business aspects. And I think that's what we've done. We've moved quickly and efficiently. Edward Thomas, great show. Thank you very much, my bro. Going to be back every single day at 10.15 every morning with On The Radar. So keep an eye out for that. Trust in FSG. They are clever businessmen. They have transformed the club and are doing an amazing job in the right way. Love that. Dinesh, evening. Henry is the Don. He has a plan, absolutely. Uh, I trust, but I still feel a bit rocky. Saar Watford, grab him. Great shout from Toxter Threads. Do you think Liverpool should sign me? I'm a left back too. I think we maybe a bit too late. We've just signed one, mate, if you've been 
watching the show, buddy. Uh, I think we need to get uh, out of this mind of we're going to sign Mbappe and Sancho. I mean, none of those were ever going to happen. Uh, not at this stage anyway. Maybe Mbappe next season. Hi, I haven't heard him or seen him play. Is he any good? Do you know what, guys? Before I go tonight, what I'm going to do is find the video that I watched of him and put it in the comments for you here, just so you can get an idea of what kind of player we signed. Uh, I mean, literally... I mean, look, we have to take these uh, videos that come out with a pinch of salt. We've all seen how it can look sometimes uh, with, I mean, I remember watching all the clips of uh, Alberto Aquilani back in the day before we signed him. And I'm thinking we've signed the new Xabi Alonso. Uh, so in a way, you know, although he does look great on the video, we do have to take him with a pinch of salt. Uh, I've just put in the YouTube link to another video uh, that has a welcome to Liverpool kind of vibe about it with Costas in it. Uh, so looking forward for you guys to, uh, to watching this video and letting me know in the comments what you think of our new signing. If you haven't seen this video, please do watch it now. I've just stuck it in the live comments as well. I've watched three videos on him. I know YouTube videos highlights, but he does look impressive. I would agree. You have to take these things with a pinch of salt, but he does look very impressive. There's the uh, the link as well in the comments for you guys as well. Also, guys, some information on the channel. Like I said, this week I will be going to Liverpool to film an On The Radar outside Anfield on Wednesday and Thursday, so stick around for that. I have also passed the 1,000 uh, subscribers mark, which is great. We're currently on 1.2 or 1.3, so it's really moving up quickly. Getting a lot of views on the unboxing video, a lot of views on the It Means Everything video. But now, I've just been informed that I can now do community posts. So I can actually interact with you guys when we're not doing shows. Sorry, big dinner just then, burritos. Uh, so I can actually interact with you now on the community and ask your opinion on, on stuff there as well. So let me know in the comments if you'd like me to, to be posting in the community post section. That's no problem at all. We can do that. And yeah. I will see you all tomorrow, bright and early at 10.15 for another On The Radar. Until then, enjoy that video that I've just sent in the in the uh, comments there. The new signing for Liverpool, Kostas Timikas, the left-back cover that we all wanted. Well, maybe not all wanted, but we all now have in the bank. Uh, one last comment from Itai. Do you think the Mbappe signing will ever happen? No. Anfield Talk, I loved it. it, means everything. Thank you very much, man. Keep sharing that video. It does mean everything that you share it. It's a fantastic video that we took ages to put together. So we were wanting, we are wanting you to watch that as many times as possible. Just keep pressing reload. We're on about 14,000 views at the minute. Kieran B, thanks, Alex. Thank you very much, Kieran, for watching. I'm a big fan of you being a fan of the channel. So carry on, man. Carry on watching every show. Uh, Manolos says, I'm currently from Greece. And I'm very happy for him. Love that. That's all, guys. 25 minutes of On The Radar. I've been AGT. You've watched The Cop TV. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that comment button, and subscribe to the official voice of football's most famous stand, The Cop, The Cop TV.